Today's video is about corticosteroids and kidney disease. Corticosteroids are the prescription steroids, not the anabolic steroids I did a previous video about. Anabolic steroids are the ones to build muscle, to improve athletic performance. These are prescription corticosteroids that are given to help kidney diseases. They're given for a variety of other conditions, but we're focusing on kidney disease. The most common being prednisone. There's also cortisone, hydrocortisone, a whole bunch, but prednisone is most, most commonly given for kidney diseases. So that's what today's video is about, how to offset the side effects. This medication depletes a lot of nutrients, this whole class. So we're gonna talk about what nutrients you might wanna consider taking in supplement form. That's what we're talking about today. So thanks for tuning in. If you have it, make sure to subscribe. I'm Robert Galarowitz, a naturopath, a nutritionist and kidney disease a survivor. Still got my fistula from when I did dialysis uh, 18 years ago, uh, 18, 20 years ago with that time frame. So let's get into it. Depending on the type of kidney disease you have, you may be prescribed a, a corticosteroid, prednisone being the most popular one. Now, if you're gonna use this medication for a month or longer, uh, you, you tend to see side effects, hopefully not, but some people see a lot of side effects. And it's for, because the drugs, uh, natural way it works and cause side effects, but a large part too is it depletes a lot of nutrients which lead to a lot of side effects. Now, this information is coming from RX Answers. It's a uh, database which basically pools um, studies. And so you can just look at a drug, see what it does, the nutritional uh, depletions, and then it links studies to each of those. So this is all evidence-based. So something you should take into consideration. These databases are sold and used by a variety of professionals, organizations, pharmacies, hospitals. So let's get into it. And most likely your doctor never told you anything about this because uh, he may not know or it's just not considered important to him. Most likely they just don't know because they're not looking at these things. So if you're gonna take prednisone for a month or more, some of the nutrients that it depletes that you should be taking are vitamin D. Now you should be taking vitamin D anyway if you have kidney disease, most likely. So make sure you have it tested and you may need to increase it, vitamin D. Calcium, it does deplete. We know, and there's no debate on this, that these corticosteroids long-term can put you at a higher risk for fractures, osteopenia, osteoporosis. Now with kidney disease, it's a little tricky to take calcium and you're already at a higher risk of all those bone issues because you have kidney disease. So. Uh, calcium is a tricky thing that you want to take. You really want to only take it if it's justified, meaning you're going to be, you're going to be on the medication long term. Okay. Uh, make sure you don't have calcification of the arteries. So go see a uh, cardiologist. Okay. Everybody with kidney disease should see a cardiologist at least once a year. So make sure you don't have any calcification of the arteries. And if you are going to take calcium, take a low dose. Don't go for the big high doses yet because of the risk to the kidneys. So you want to take maybe three to 500 to maybe 600 milligrams of calcium. Check with your doctor first. Make sure that's okay. And that's only if you're going to do this long term. You want to take it with food, ideally. And you want to take um, one of the more higher absorption forms, uh, calcium citrate. Uh, uh, calcium uh, hydroxy apatite is one, and there's a couple others, but um, calcium carbonate, it doesn't absorb as well, but it can help bind some of that phosphorus, so it is an option. Um, but like I said, just uh, be careful with that calcium supplementation. Check with your doctor, check with your cardiologist. Okay, if you're having trouble sleeping, it's because uh, these corticosteroids, they lower your melatonin levels. Melatonin is a natural hormone that your body needs and it regulates the sleep-wake cycle. So I had an issue with prednisone back then where I could not sleep uh, when I did this many years ago, over 20 years ago. Um, I didn't know that it depleted melatonin back then, but we know now. So if you're having trouble sleeping, try melatonin, okay? A natural sleep hormone sold over the counter. Three to 10 milligrams you wanna try at night. Start with the lower doses, work your way up. If you find yourself getting like waking up groggy, which is common with melatonin, you might wake up, it's like hard to get up, you're groggy, you're still tired, uh, lower the dose, okay? So if you're taking three milligrams, try two, try one and a half, try one. If you're taking 10, try five. You gotta play around till you find the right dose for yourself, but it's excellent with kidney disease, also helps protect your kidney. Okay, next nutrient is selenium or selenium, it's also called. 
We talk about this in a lot of other videos. This is commonly low in people with kidney issues. So you wanna make sure you supplement with it. B6, B6 is a nutrient that gets depleted, which will lead to side effects. Now, when I talk about all this, a really good way to go is to take a fairly good multivitamin. You can take the individual nutrients, like you can take the vitamin D separately, the calcium, but like for your selenium, B6, um, all the B vitamins you need, you should be getting a decent multivitamin. And the prescription renal vitamins out there, they're not that good. If you look at the back label, or even the non-prescription renal vitamins, if you look at the back label, they don't have all the B vitamins. They're missing a lot of things. So um, any decent multivitamin, not the one-a-days by, by like Centrum, I generally don't recommend those. A good one-a-day from like a Whole Foods, a health food store, uh, somewhere that sells vitamins should be good. Uh, now, um, multivitamin, because uh, also you do deplete vitamin A, zinc, so the multivitamin covers all those, vitamin C. You should watch your potassium levels, okay? Uh, corticosteroids can lower potassium levels. Generally, in kidney disease, that's a good thing, so that's a little added benefit, but you don't want them going too low. Now, one big thing, whether you're gonna take, not going to take supplements or whatever you're going to do is the salt. Corticosteroids like prednisone make you retain water, okay? Which retaining water is just not good. Not good for your heart. Doesn't feel good if too much builds up um, in your ankles, your legs, your feet. So avoid the salt as much as possible, the sodium. And plus, avoiding the salt and sodium, it helps your kidney disease, okay? You're gonna lower protein. So take a look at this video again. I went through a lot of stuff here, all right? But if you're gonna take corticosteroids, those are things that you want to keep in mind and protect yourself from and also help deplete those side effects and you're just going to feel better and do better. Make sure you check out all of our other videos. So much you can do to help your kidney health. Thanks. I'm Robert Galarowitz. To your best kidney health, everyone. Bye.